are you the captain of this ship? Hell no. Oh. Hell no. <laughs> you can't captain saving. this ship. Yeah. We, have, we have five captains right here. <laughs> yeah. uh, but there's a weird thing, because you're all in the film together, there's, there's people who don't want the idea that you got on. They yeah. like the idea that oh, you Oh, no. We, we just the other day, we were all doing a junket where, mm -hmm. you know, you sit in a room and someone asks you the same question every five minutes. Sorry. All of a sudden, my publicist... <laughs> It's okay. Uh, and my publicist walks in, she's got this look. She's, she's kind of a pit bull. She comes in, she goes, we just got an email from uh, this tabloid, and uh, they're saying that you were a problem and that you have problems with everyone else on the set, and there's just a problem. And then, and so then you take it very personally. You go, it's just a tabloid, doesn't matter, but then you start to schwitz and you start to panic, and then next thing we know, she got the same email from the same place, slightly altered. She got the, G, she G. was a problem, and then she was a victim, and then the, we realized that everyone wants us to be ripping each other's weaves off. I mean, they just want us to be pulling hair out and, and just... That's uh, so weird. No, but it? it's a cliche. It's she such an old cliche that, uh, that women can't get on collectively. Yeah. It's just an old myth. They tried, they tried. And we did not live up. Didn't work. But also what's interesting yeah. is this rarely happens. So yeah. like it must be you know, a kind of unique experience for you all. What which bit? That, that you're in a movie with this many actresses. That there's women in film? Yeah. That is unique. Yes. yes. <laughs> this many? Who knew? <laughs> now here's the thing. Uh, yes. Now are you familiar, Lady Gaga, with the EastEnders? No, don't say yes, darling. If you're not, you're not, and I don't blame you. <laughs> I am. I'm yes. A, I actually am a very big fan of yours. Aww. I just don't watch a lot of television. No, I don't oh. watch any. <laughs> <laughs> but you're, you are you are so fabulously dressed, and I'm I'm, I'm very honored to be seated next well, to you. Well, you see, I had to do it because I have a friend. I'm staying with a couple of boys tonight. Oh yes. And he are they said, straight again? Oh, he loves you. No. Uh, they, uh, yeah. No. What do you ask me first? <laughs> That. She speaks my language. <laughs> yes. So, oh, you have to avoid things sometimes, don't you, darling? Yeah, you have to so. be very good at getting around questions that you don't want to answer. Oh, I understand. There'll be easy uh, questions. Do you, do you, shall I take your chair? It, no. <laughs> no. No. You but, don't but, believe I'm three months and three years off 90, do you? You're not. Oh, what? Oh. Are you really? Wow. Drink from your cup. I want to know. I want to know what those that dreams are. That sounds boring. <laughs> <laughs> I am quite healthy. You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, these chaps, you see, I mean, Matt, oh, yes. he really thinks you're something, and oh, the idea of you and me together was to him wonderful. Like all those mad people who do those things when you're doing your watch it. You know. What I mean? <laughs> And of course, Reese, you were part of the Friends family. She, she literally, family. Yes, your sister. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I, I got. Uh, there was such a privilege. I got to play her sister when I was. Oh, that's twenty-three years old. Yeah. And what, what's so odd is that you were saying in an interview somewhere that you hadn't acted in front of an audience right. before. Right, and I never have since. <laughs> we, did, we broke it. Really? We yeah. broke her. <laughs> like the Instagram. Like, yeah. She broke the Instagram, and then she, uh, she also broke, broke me. Broke her will to um, do live audience. No, it audience was just song. terrifying. It was terrifying having to say jokes, and I would always look at Jen and go, I, this, I'm messing up. And But didn't it get more, like, once you were out there for a bit, didn't it start to become more fun? No. Uh. <laughs> but this is all right, isn't it? These are friendly peeps. This is different, and I get to be myself and just watch you drink wine, which is just delightful. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I like white, uh, wine with ice. Is a very I like that. Well, because it makes the sound of a cocktail. It does. Like why it. don't Why don't you just then have a cocktail? I like wine. Oh. <laughs> but with the sound you of just, a cocktail. I, yeah. I get it. Yeah. You have said you have said it'll be a, you're not a great one for the research. <laughs> Understatement. <but> then, yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. I love him. No, but you must have done. You must have done some for this. No. You must have done some for this. <clears throat> um, I, yep. No. <laughs> you you lick the what, stamp. <laughs> well, we were all given lovely Polly, who's a movement coach, and I just. It turns out I can't change what my body does, so I still walk like me, which is, I've been told, quite like farmer. a farmer. And no, I am saying, I saw, there's a scene in it, and it's you and Prince Philip walking up the garden. Is it filmed on the back of my head? No, it's oh. the two of you walking up towards you out in the garden. Yeah, yeah. No, you know, you Did you say farmer? <laughs> oh, OK, so... Does I, the Queen do arms? Yeah. Well, every well, now and then, you know, I'm really concentrating. I can get a little bit right. So I might... Was I doing that as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> yeah, I'm not very good at. But no, but you go to extraordinary lengths to research. I go things. to ridiculous things. I don't think it necessarily is necessary. But I enjoy it. I do but enjoy you it. You love it. I love it. And I you, like the. Um... Did you? Were you brilliant at school at research and projects? Yeah, I was a swat. Shit at it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then you've got a friend... Is it a, a friend of yours who's a psychic? Oh, God. Ooh. Yeah. You this know, is my favourite bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how one story comes out and then it obliterates. So it's it's well, the defining in, thing. In fairness, oh, yeah, I, other actors going, OK. <laughs> I love you. I just don't... Don't, <laughs> just, I, I, you don't uh, believe in talking well, to dead people? No. I didn't say <laughs> but how long have you... We worked together for how many years now? It's been two. <laughs> After one... Right? <laughs> It's been three? Maybe three. I it's been know. three. Um, after the first year, Leslie, and my name is Kate McKinnon, and she, uh, <laughs> I know that, but uh, she, she came up to me and she said, um, after a year of knowing me, um, how, you all right, Kate Middleton? <laughs> uh, and were you joking? Uh, no, I was not. <laughs> Like McKinn, I was like, well, who's Middleton then? She was like, a princess bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I like that bitch. <laughs> and Joanna, you were saying when it when you first got cast mm. and you were rehearsing, like the chemistry, you didn't feel it. Look, I was really I'd I'd <laughs> known about everybody knew about French and Saunders. Everybody knew about that. And I'd been asked, I'd been sent this unbelievably funny script. And I was longing to do it. I couldn't believe it. I laughed out loud, Rebel. You know when yeah. you open something, you laugh out loud, you go, oh, yeah, it's holy very smoke. rare. Very rare Most indeed. Most of the time you read the script, you're like, oh, ah. oh shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but this was gold. And so I went round to meet Jennifer the first time ever, first time ever mm. at the BBC. And we sat in a pretty sort of odd little office. And we sat together like this. Two as little if we chairs. Were, two little chairs <laughs> as if we were sitting in the back of a taxi. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello, I'm Joanna. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and we opened up the page and we started to read. And I didn't know who Patsy was because it hadn't explained who she was. Mm. You didn't explain. <laughs> you had to <laughs> read some lines. Like, I know, but you, you, didn't, you weren't the idea yeah. I had for Patsy. <laughs> <laughs> True. No, I mean, it was better. You made it better. We read it through a couple of times, Rebel, yeah. right? and each time yeah. Jennifer just sat there just staring at it. Oh, oh, this is awful. Oh. So then we that tried so again, and I it. kind of... I almost said, shall I do it Scottish or something? <laughs> <laughs> and then at the end, John Plowman, our wonderful producer, who was, who was sort of th through us, nursed us through everything, said, well, jolly good, so marvellous, and we'll rehearse and I said, And I went home to my agent, not my present agent, I just said, get me out of it. She hates me. She said nothing to me. She just sort of went... Oh, no. <laughs> and I said, get me out. And my agent said, it's only a pilot. Just do it. Mm. So and I now did. look. Yeah. Now you know. And I how know. did, like, the alcoholic and the drug stuff is just because oh, you Jennifer. got to no, know that was Jennifer. Her. I didn't know anything uh, about drinking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I think what happened was that we got on and we had, a, we had just had such a good laugh that everything that she bought, which was the modelling and the... Other stuff, the the sixties stuff, and the drug taking, and all that. It just, it just, we just had fun inventing. It. Yeah. And now, Christine, obviously you've made the film with Cher. Now. I know. So are you like Bezies now? Are you best mates? I wish. I wish. <laughs> My goal is to get her cell phone number. <laughs> <laughs> Not on the air, but. <laughs> after. Yeah. Can you imagine? I mean, there I was in Buffalo, New York, going to all girls Catholic high school and, um, you know, skinny, bad skin, stringy hair, and Cher's coolest woman on the planet, of course, and we all watch the Sonny and Cher show. And the whole, so the, the idea that I would somehow one day be sitting next to her on your show or in a musical with ABBA music is pretty, pretty fabulous. No, remember we used to sit next to each other in our chairs. I remember you telling this story to Julie. On the set, right. yes, exactly. Julie Andrews? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Julie Moore. <laughs> Someone hasn't seen Mamma Mia. <laughs> I mean, Annie especially, she enjoys when I, like, insult her. It's true. Yeah. You're really good at it. And she's very easy to insult. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, I don't know. It's just something about your sincerity or something. <laughs> I, you know what? I'm not even going to argue with it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. My favourite was when you called me an animatronic cock tease. Mm. Yeah, because on that day you really look like her. <laughs> <laughs> but you called me a big-titted Russell Crowe. 
You asked me to. No, 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 no. You're misrepresenting that story. Rob was like, you know, Annie, call me a big tater, Russell Crowe on this Oh, did I make up that You did, for yourself. I like that. You're watching the film now, really laughing. Best joke in the film.